What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It's his I, James. RedoptionAgency.com. 20 plus years selling on eBay. So, went down to Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Um, I will put a video at the end of where the place we stayed that Jan surprised me. It was a pretty unique place. Uh, if you saw the video on Facebook already, you already know. We got Mr. Vern in the house. They were happy to see me back. <laughs> uh, other than that, every, there was a lot of stuff very disappointing about Eureka Springs. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, personally, like nothing open till at least 10 a.m. Everything closed by like 6 p.m. Uh, <laughs> it was just very underwhelming went to a couple of places like the natural springs but it, the beauty of it's kind of ruined by humans interpretation of the beauty <laughs> being i love the stuff raw like a raw spring with you know the wildflowers but it's like concrete and barbed wire fence you know so it's like it very it really took away from the whole feeling of a, a natural spring um and then we did like an Onyx Cave tour because Jen's been wanting to do something like that. Oh, very, very badly done. Um, you have to wear headphones for the guided tour, um, which takes away from the actual natural sounds of the cave, which that's one of the beauties of going into the cave is that natural sound. So you don't get to hear that. And then the instructor, sometimes you're, you feel behind, sometimes you feel like ahead, but you always feel like you don't know where the hell you are compared to what they're talking about. It's just a complete mess. Yeah, I would not recommend it at all. But uh, I at least got out, hit some yard sales and thrift stores and whatever. Uh, so that was fun. A little road trip. Don't mind a road trip. Uh, guess picked a good weekend. eBay was like trashed all weekend at a ship here. Like even last night, we're Monday morning now, so Sunday night. Um, in the last eight hours up until now, we're going on about eight a.m. I had one set. I've had one sale in those that eight-hour period. Very weak. And then yesterday, I did between two a.m. Saturday morning, or that would be Sunday morning till 10 p.m. Sunday night, no customers email me, which was very odd. I never had that before where I had that long of a stretch without a customer email come through. So that was very odd. But a lot of, you know, decent stuff. So had probably one of my lowest dollar days, I guess, Saturday. Uh, yesterday, last night, it picked back up a little bit. And then at about... Uh, Midnight, it shut off again. So, don't know what they're doing, what's going on, but back to a listing. Got some stuff. Hit the Goodwill outlet in Rogers, Arkansas. I didn't get nothing special. Uh, got some, Jan found some Miss Me jeans. I found a Harley button up shirt, like flannel type of shirt. Uh, and then little odds and ends, like hat, my hats I pick up and stuff. Didn't get too much. Threw a lot back. Some cassettes, country cassettes. Nothing major. But it was nice just to get away for the weekend. So I'm ready to get back to work, though, and get some stuff listed. And see if we can get these sales turned back on. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pull some stuff real quick to make it quicker. And uh, so I can get to listing today. So let's go. All right, positive things about the trip. Uh, the historic downtown was nice to, very cool building and architecture. Um, it's just by the time we would get down there, because we'd go out exploring during the day, by the time we get down there, it'd be, you know, six o'clock and everything's closed. <laughs> so it's like, you either have to go out and do things or go down there and do it. And it's just a bunch of little shops, which really no big deal. Uh, if you don't go in those, really, they're just little tourist traps. And the actual souvenir places are still open down there. But And uh, some of the bars. 
But uh, it was kind of cool just to at least drive through there and walk a little bit through there, seeing the old architecture. The housing is around there is cool. Taking we since we were chasing yard sales too, took a lot of back roads that we would not normally see, and seeing how houses were built on these little roads and stuff that was very cool. And if you like driving windy roads, which I do, I learned how to drive on hairpin turns and stuff, so dead man's curve. And all that kind of stuff. So I love driving those roads and driving them fast. So uh, two big pluses there, nature and uh, the architects and the curvy roads. But <laughs> yeah, very cool though for that. Um, it was just, it was very just kind of put offish with everything. You wake up early, nothing's open. You get back around and everything's closed. So that was kind of off-putting. But other than that, you know. It's definitely not worth like a week stay if you go for a weekend for an event or something. There was like a Mustang event going on this weekend. So we saw tons of Mustangs. I actually saw a lot of Dodge Vipers too. So that was cool. But uh, all right. So we got this Doug, Sam, and Friends cassette so far. Ten bucks. Headed to San Antonio, Texas. All right. Headed out to California. We got the Pure 80s CD. Sold for $5. We got Ed Ames on vinyl. So for seven bucks, headed to Whitmore, South Carolina. All right, missing persons vinyl. So for seven bucks, headed to Woodstock, Illinois. And we got Eric Clapton was here from J.C. Penny. It's kind of cool. With a little hype sticker underneath. So for seven bucks, headed to Woodstock, Illinois. Damn it, I did it again. I was going the same place as the last one. Five dollars for David Sanborn, headed to Louisiana. Alrighty, high noon DVD, so for five bucks, headed out to California. Alright, Knob Creek shirt, Kentucky Street Bourbon. So for nine bucks, headed to Louisville, Kentucky. Backstreet Boys, black and blue cassette, so for seven bucks, headed out to California. Alright, Pam Tillis 45, so for five dollars, headed up to Canada. JB Oil Services, they only had overnight. Bummer. Uh, so for eight bucks, headed to New York. Are you ready for a Debbie lot? <laughs> All right, we've got some cassettes and a couple of flats here. Um, so we got five items, total of like uh, eighty-five dollars was spent right here. Biggity bam! We got two Sarah Hickman cassette singles. We got a Debbie Gibson promo, advanced promo cassette. And then uh, I remember one day, I'm surprised none of these have even sold since I got them. I've had them for several months now. I got about 30 of these, both of these different flats from Debbie Gibson. Found them at the Benz. And working in a music store, I know what these were promo items that they would be sent out to stores to hang them up in the store to promote the albums. So these are all from like 1988 and 1990. So I got like 17 of one and 13 of another or something like that. And I got them for like 30 bucks a piece. 31 or something. So 63 of that money is just these two items alone. So very nice find that day at the bins. And even though they haven't sold quickly, just one of them one sale from two items paid probably for everything and profit that day at the bin. So can't down that. So, and they are all headed to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. All right, next up we got Mizzou hat. So for eight bucks headed to Caroline Beach, North Carolina. All right, awesome trains, two VHS tape set. So for ten fifty, headed to Fountain Hills, Arizona. Oh, but that's it. But I'm going to put the video where I stayed at at the end of this video. So if you haven't seen it, it's definitely a unique place to stay. So if you do go to Eureka Springs, you might want to check out this place. Um, and it's called, uh, I think it's just called Eureka Springs Treehouse. But if you're a Harry Potter fan, I've never seen the movies, but it was still cool to me. So even if you're not a Harry Potter fan, you'll like where I stayed. 
So check that out. So thanks everybody for watching the videos and hopefully this won't pick up or this will pick up. We're at 8.32 and still nothing has sold this morning really. So hopefully that stops and picks up because I need some money. I need some money. I got hungry dogs. All right. Onward to the video and onward to the post office and uh, we shall see you in the next video. They said there was a red phone booth. I don't know what it was. That was over there. I saw it. Okay. There's some of the houses. Oh, they have a church. They do weddings here. Castles. <laughs> yeah. I guess there's a 19, so in that castle right there. Oh, or do we go? No, we go down the path, I guess. Yeah, we got to park here and then oh, walk cool. the path. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we got a trailer parking. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's 19. Got to oh, back up. Okay. We got to park in the middle. Got our own space. personal spot. Okay. Kind of surprised. This has a lot of fun. Where the hell are we going? <laughs> this is awesome. It's like <laughs> I'm guessing that mound, that mound is where we're staying. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, we don't have to worry about tornadoes. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, there was something. Is it a rabbit? This is too funny. No, it's alright. Yeah. Smells like chlorine in here. It must be like hot tub. Hot tub. Hot tub. Yeah. Underground hot tub. How funny is that? And there's a walk-in sauna. What? Yeah. 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 Check it out. Ain't this fun? <laughs> That's different. That's cool. Something different. That's cool. I thought so. I was just 
We didn't get the tree house, but I think this is even cooler than the tree house because they didn't look too high up. I guess too much liability. Nice. I guess we don't have uh, access to that. Oh, this is cool. Something different. So we're in Eureka Springs. So now we're going to go get some food because I'm starving. But uh, yeah, we're staying in like a cave. We're staying underground. So pretty cool. All right. We're going to go find a place to eat. So. I think that's what no, that, that's, no, that's a TV. Okay. Uh, the sauna. Oh. All right. 